Okay, number three, <clears throat> sine over tan equals cos. I'm gonna definitely ask everyone to try this on their own, so if the teacher could just pause the video and we'll take it up in a second. So this is definitely one that you would have saw last year, a grade 11 example. I'm doing it today so we can build up our confidence and to say okay and learn a new strategy. So hopefully we already have a chance to try it and we look at it and we say okay. Always have an eye on the on the other side. Okay, so I'm probably going to work with this side but I want to keep an eye over there. And I notice that my solution eventually I want to just be cos. So I need to somehow do some work over here so that um, it'll end up being cos. Well, I learned right away from the very first one that we did today that I can change tan into sine over cos. So I'm going to leave the top as sine and the bottom as sine theta over cos theta. Okay, so that's just changing this tan into that. Now, one strategy here, you'll notice I made a nice big division bar so there's no confusion as to what's there. There's my big, big division bar, just like my original question. The equal signs here line up with that to help me with that. And then I have this little division bar that was for tan. <laughs> highlighting the big division bar, you see that I have something on the top being divided by something on the bottom. That thing on the bottom is a fraction. So one of the strategies that I can show you by answering this question, if you haven't already thought of it, is when you divide by a fraction, you multiply by the reciprocal. So the top is sine. I'm going to write that as sine over 1. And then I'm going to, instead of divide by sine over cos, I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal. So there's the little trick. There's the little puzzle strategy that I've just taught you or you learned from, remembered from last year that you'll be able to use now in other questions. And of course, this is a huge step because it makes my life a little bit easier. Okay, I'm multiplying a sign on the top, a sign on the bottom. It's multiplication, so those will cancel. And I would be left with just cos theta over 1, which of course is just cos theta. The left side equals the right side. And it is proven. Okay, so hopefully you got that one on your own. Uh, if not, just a quick little step that you can use to go off and try it on your own. All right, number four. Again, here it is. If you want to pause for a second, you can try it on your own. This one's a little bit more complicated because it's going to involve a couple more steps. Okay, so this is a great question because if I was doing this in front of you live, then I would tell you about how sometimes I get nervous in doing these in front of the class. I know I have, I've done this question before and I have the answers in front of me, but I like doing this without the answers because I want you to hear my thought process and what I'd be thinking and doing um, in my head as I was doing this on my own. So I look at it and for starters I get a little bit nervous because it looks pretty big, but and I don't know what the answer is. I don't. That's that's key too. I don't expect that I'm going to be able to see how all the steps right now. I I just know some things I can do, and maybe they'll work. Maybe they won't. So first thing I'm going to notice is there isn't much to do on the left hand side. There's lots on the right hand side. So we're going to do that. And again, I don't know what to do with this big minus sign in between, but I do know one of the strategies I remember is I'm going to change tan in the sine over cos. So I'll leave everything else the same. Okay, so again, I'm not too sure how everything's going to work out. I don't see the whole solution yet, but I know one thing I can do. Now I look and I, after writing that, I now see a second thing I do. I've got sine times this fraction. So I'm going to multiply that. Again, I have no clue what I'm doing with this, this first part, but I'm just doing stuff on the right-hand side, or is the right part of this. So I've got a sine times a sine. 
Well, I know x times x is x squared. So sine theta times sine theta is sine squared theta. On the bottom, I've got a 1 times a cos, so obviously that's just cos. All right, so now I'm starting to get more confidence. This, for me, was the time that I can start to see where there might be a solution. But if you're not at that stage yet, that's okay. Just keep doing things that you know will work. You're simplifying. But what I'm seeing right now, when I'm foreshadowing, is I'm noticing that this is a fraction with cos on the denominator, and this is a fraction with cos on the denominator. So I can bring those together. That's how you subtract fractions. Find a common denominator, keep the denominator, and subtract the numerators. So in the numerators, n is 1, and subtract is minus sine squared. <coughs> and as soon as I say that, <coughs> excuse me, 1 minus sine squared, I remember that trig identity. Maybe it's over on the sideboard, maybe it's in your notes. But 1 minus sine squared, that is again, popping up again. So 1 minus sine squared. And the good news is, again, I'm keeping an eye on, I just did a little look up here on my goal. And my goal is to have cos. I don't want any sines. So the fact that I'm going to replace this is even more exciting. So the top is 1 minus sine squared. I'm going to replace that with cos squared over cos theta. So the top gets replaced. Again, looking at what my goal is. It's just a plain old cos, and I think I can get there. This stage, I've got a cos squared on the top, and I'm being divided by a cos. This is the same as, if I did this off the side, it's the same as x squared divided by x, right? Well, what's x squared divided by x? It's just plain old x. So what's cos squared divided by cos? It's just cos. And although it's off the screen here, I know that it equals the other side. So there's my cos squared here. Or sorry, just cos. Here's my cos. And so I finish off with my left side equals right side, and it is proven. So again, we learn from this, strategies, put it in a toolkit, we're better educated, we'll have more confidence and more evidence and more tools to go off and answer the next question.